Don't lose your daughter like we did. That's the message from the family of Christy Bochelle, whose daughter was murdered by her husband. Today, Christy Bochelle's family got their chance to directly speak to the man who took her life. It happened last year in March in Shelby Township. As Nick Monticelli reports, her family wishes the 31 to 50 year sentence was even longer. You've taken more than just my mom. My mom was my best friend. I hate you and I despise you. May you rot in prison and then burn in hell. Sobering and brutally honest words from the family of Crystal Boschel, who was murdered in March of last year in Shelby Township. During an argument, she was shot in the head by her husband, Josh Boschel, although he originally said it was a suicide. Investigators did not believe that. He was charged with first degree murder. However, a jury convicted him of second degree murder despite a history of domestic violence. In fact, the first time Christie's teenage son met Josh. And I looked around the corner and I saw him physically hitting my mom. Called the cops, called my grandparents, come pick me up. Then cops took him to jail. Because of that, this family wanted to see Bo Shill spend the rest of his life in prison. When you take a weapon, even if it's off a nightstand or a dresser, take it out of a holster, get to where uh, your partner is, aim the gun and then shoot. There's a lot of many actions going into that one process. Instead, his sentence is 31 to 50 years, and he had little to say. Just trust Jesus on this one. Christie's family, though, has a lot to say, including a message to other victims in abusive relationships. There are help lines out there. Please use them. Don't be like us and lose your daughter. It, you, it's beyond words. And even before the judge made his sentence in this case, Boschel told him and the courtroom that he plans to appeal. On what grounds, we don't know, but we know that he is not happy with the charges at all. Iman Clemens, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick, and as you heard, an appeal is already planned. In fact, Boschel's attorney believes this was an accident.